Do I have a fan? No, I don't. Shit. I wish I had a fan. Hold on. Let's do this. Oh, no, it's not moving. Man, where's the fan when you need a fan, okay? But... Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Amy and in today's video you guys I wanted to do a uh, You know just a trying out new products basically okay and getting holiday ready holiday glam This is like the perfect holiday glam look you guys. I am glowing skin is glowing cheekbones are popping baby I know the holidays are like creeping in on us like it's legit like almost the end of the year but i'm gonna give you guys these holiday looks okay so this is you know number one if you guys want to see anything else let me know leave me a comment down in the comment section below but make sure you're also keeping safe because listen child corona is still around sis she ain't left yet okay she she in texas too she she's deep over here okay so make sure you keep safe make sure you're masking it up okay so i went pretty sexy on the eyes because even though i was wearing a mask honey you listen you still gonna be seeing my eyes, okay? You so if you guys want to see everything I use on today's look, okay, and what I feel about these products and what my reaction is on these products, you guys keep on watching. You know I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. You know for facts she gonna keep it 100. Ain't no funny stuff around here, okay? <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into this video so i want to do my eyebrows first but there's no new product there's no new product it's the same old product that i always use so i'm not i'm just gonna go ahead and do that everybody and their mama raised about the p louise base and we're gonna put it to the test this okay i'm gonna try and use it today and this is in the shade number uh rumor tree and i'm just gonna put a little bit it's very watery. Like, I feel like for some reason I thought it was gonna be thicker than this, but we're gonna still slide with it, okay? Yeah, it's very watery. For some reason I thought it was gonna be like very, very like thick and grippy, but I guess not. But we still gonna slide with it. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. Hmm. So for my eyes today, I'm gonna try this new Natasha Denona Chrome eyeshadows, and these are stunning, you guys. But I'm gonna actually just use uh, my um, Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette, beat up, right? I love it so much. That's why it's so beat up. So I'm gonna use this palette. Okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this color. They don't have names, or they do have names, but it's somewhere in the back. Nobody got time for that. It's just this warm brown shade. I'm just gonna take that and press it oh this is the deal the shadow primer really gives like brings out the pigment but it's just too watery like i wish you can make it into like a pot like cream form you know there's like those mac uh paint pots like paint pots you know but yeah it's making the shadows pop real nicely but i don't like the consistency Next, I'm gonna take this orangey shade right there and just buff out those edges just very nice and softly. I'm using a MAC, an old MAC 224 brush just with nothing on it and just buffing that edge. There's nothing like an old MAC 224 brush. Like, if you, if you get it, you get it. Like, not a brand new one, like an older one. Like it just makes a huge difference. It just, I don't know why, but it just works. I'm gonna take this brown shade. It's actually darker than it's looking on camera right here. And then just taking it and just intensifying that crease area. What I do is I don't buff it in. I kind of just like take it and like gently just like pat it and then push it. And this creates like a really nice effect without making the shadow just kind of like get everywhere. 
and then if you see I'm just kind of bringing it all the way high up to the beginning of my eyebrow area and just buffing it into the brow and bringing it out a little bit you see the difference yeah okay push press push press pu pre press press push press push press push and bring it high up to the brow area I'm gonna take this uh, plummy like brown shade right here and just take a little tiny bit of that and just like press it on the outer corner of the eye and for all my beginners like don't try to take everything and just blend because like honey it's just gonna make a huge mess try and take everything and just press it first then go back with a clean brush or another kind of brush just a clean brush really and just like buff the edges out and voila like that's that's a look it's a vibe okay i'm gonna take that and just buff the edges out look how seamless that is like it's like effortless if i was trying to blend that it would just be a hot mess so now i'm gonna take this natasha denona eyeshadow like metallic eyeshadow what is it called it's called the chrome liquid shadow love this okay obsessed um when i swatched it so now let's see if it's gonna really do the job for me okay i'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush and just tap it onto it just so i don't apply too much it looks very very green so i hope it's not as green if it's oh it is green oh baby it's green okay but it's like a golden green it's very pretty oh I hope you can see this on camera. This is nice, baby. Hold on, let me do, let me let me do this. Let me come close. Let oh my god! Like it has like a like a like a lot of color shifting like going on. Like it's like a green. It's like a purple. I see like a gold. Like okay, okay, Natasha. I see you doing something. Okay, okay. She's really cute. Ooh, I feel like I need more colors in this. And I like how it's like not cracking at all. Like it's just like getting on there real nice. This is so cute. Like it's cute. It's really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna take that burnt orange color and then just go ahead and just buff it in the center where they met. like i mean like <laughs> this is gorgeous like listen you all need this not even playing like so i'm gonna take that deep color right there it's not black it's more like a plummy shade i don't want to use black i'm gonna use that and just line my eyes with it okay because listen this is giving me looks and whilst i let my eyelash grow dry i'm going to use my dior backstage primer the color has already gone away i use this so much and this is really one of my favorite primers it's not a new product so it is what it is i have not seen any new primers that i want to try so i'm going to use this one it's very nice and blurring and it's super hydrating also but it's not hydrating to the point it's going to like make your makeup melt off okay it's just nice and hydrating and it just blows the skin out and it feels amazing and for foundation i'm going to try the anastasia foundation and the pat mcgrath foundation i have yet to try these but i actually want to mix them because the anastasia i have in the shade 590c and then the uh, pat mcgrath i have in the shade deep 33 one is this one is too light and then this one is too dark but i'm gonna mix them and create my own personal shade okay let's just hope it works together okay it looks it feels good color looks let's see i'm gonna go i go a little darker i'll go a little bit darker okay i know the lights are making me look lighter than i look in real life but you see 
Maybe you can't see the difference, but I can. <laughs> Ooh, that matches nicely. Look at that. And for concealer, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath concealer, and this is in the shade D29. I'm gonna just take that and um, highlight with it under my eye area. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend in my concealer. I have a contour and highlighting uh, video, so. You guys can try that. And if you guys want me to do a beginner contour and highlight, like, let me know. I can give you guys a super easier way to do it. Um, but let me know if you guys want to see that. Because I wouldn't mind doing it. I want to let my under eyes to set a bit more. And I just go ahead and finish the rest of my face. And for contour, I'm still going to use my Juvia's Place Foundation Stick in Congo. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this, so I ain't changing it. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Skin on a hundred. Like, hello? Who could check me? Uh, Ma'am. <laughs> so, the another product, another new product I'm going to try out today is the Laura Mercier powder in honey a lot of people are raving about this and i was like listen i'm gonna try it for myself child and i'm gonna tell y'all because you know i'm gonna tell you the real tea okay and this is what the honey powder looks like it's a little bit more yellowy can you, you can see it from like right there and i'm gonna take that and then set my under eyes i'll do it the same way i normally set my under eyes which is i'm gonna use the brush first and then i'll go ahead and like press it in okay i'm gonna go ahead and take my brush Take some of that powder and hmm. okay. mm. wow. I was scared it's gonna be ashy. Laura, can y'all see this? Like <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Okay. So now I'm going to take my Beauty Blender sponge and I'm going to go ahead and set it matte. Like, kind of like bake on it a little bit. Like, but this is already looking good. But let's see if there's a difference if we bake with it and if we just press with it, okay? Especially, you know, for for us, the chocolate, the chocolate babies, the chocolate baddies, okay? But... Hopefully it doesn't get ashy, like, hopefully, just hopefully. <sighs> I'm kind of torn in between, like, using it to carve my underneath my chin. Should I do it? Should I not do it? It's going to be a little too light, but you know what? We're going to do it. We're going we're gonna to do it, okay? And to set my whole face, I'm going to use my Dior Forever and Ever powder. Uh, listen, I can't show you this. It's tragic, okay? It, everything broke, but I'm gonna use it to um, set my face, okay? And I just absolutely love this powder. It legit just kind of like make everything look so nice and blurry. Like, look at that. Like, it's so pretty. It is not on the cheap side for sure, but it definitely is really one of the best, best setting powders like I've tried. Like, it's so nice. Like, it's just so nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the powder, the the honey powder, and like just cover up my, my jawline, and I hope it's not too ashy, but we're gonna find out, okay? We're going to find out. So I'm gonna take that warm brown, uh, warm burnt orange shade, and just go ahead and dust it underneath my lower lashes. Okay. I want to kind of buff it and like push it out a little bit more, just to kind of tie like the lower eye and then the upper eye together. Okay, just. 
just like that you just drag it up and then pull it okay So I'm going to take that deep plummy brownie shade and just go ahead and also just press it underneath the lash line but not going all the way inside. Just mainly on like three quarter or outer of the eye just to kind of add a bit more depth to the eye area just like that. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and dust off this powder and hopefully it's not ashy. Yeah, it's actually not ashy at all, which is kind of nice. Okay. Just set my face, just make sure I kill all that excess powder off, okay? But it looks quite nice. Normally, I just go ahead and just take this and just press on. Ah. Make everything nice and melt it onto the skin. And for highlighter, I'm going to use this new limited edition highlighter from Dior. I don't even think the camera is doing this justice. It's ridiculous. Like, it's disgusting. Let me go ahead and swatch them for you guys to see. Like, these are stupid nice. Like, these are insane. They are dumb. Like, this makes no sense, okay? Let me swatch it on my hand. Like, look at this. Like, it legit just looks wet, like, on my skin. I have never seen highlighters this good for a chocolate girl. So, if you're a brown girl, I mean, chocolate, brown, whatever, however, you can actually use this on your eyes, and they are going to be, like, stunning, okay? Um, so, I'm going to put this on my cheekbones. Like, these are nice. Like, I promise I'm going to use this one right here. Okay? And I'm just going to pop that on my... Ugh, these are so oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. They came with three came out with three shades, but I just like bought this one because oh my god, they have a rose gold one also that is so freaking nice. I'm probably just gonna like I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna mix this one also and this one. You guys know I'm not into like XX highlighting anymore, but this just makes me wanna highlight. Like it just makes me wanna do it. Like, zip it and zoom it. Like, <laughs> talk to my cheekbones. I have no words for you. Go ahead and just highlight my forehead like I need any more. Like, I just want you to just kind of, like, get into it, baby. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this one right here. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to take this one right here and use it in my inner tear duct area. Yes. Okay, yes. Give me all of it. Yeah. And for lipsticks, I was gifted with these um Makeup Forever new lipsticks. Okay. And I'm just go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick maybe I'm gonna do this one. This one is a bit too orange. Um I I do like these though, but it's not gonna go with my look, okay? So I'm probably gonna do 402, okay? I'm gonna apply that as my lipstick. I hope that it's not too drying, okay? But I can't find my Night Moth lip liner, so I'm gonna have to mix like a brown and a black to create like a look. Because I like my red lipsticks to be on red, okay? I'm gonna take that 402 lipstick. Oh, these are nice. This feels very creamy, actually. Mmm. I'm gonna just give myself a little extra glow on the body, yaddy. Okay, body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Okay, so I'm gonna take the deepest one, the bronze one, and just go ahead and just kind of pop that on my um, collarbone. It's holiday season, you guys, so listen. The more, the merrier. Like, look at this. Ooh, oh my gosh. This highlighter palette is definitely a must have for all you girls. Let me tell you, you're going to love me for this one. Oh, can you see how wet my... <laughs>
Oh my god, it's so so pretty. And if you're going to wear something that is going to show your shoulders, just make sure you kind of get a little bit of that. Like I prefer these than like body oils because I feel like body oils could be very sticky sometimes and don't really give you the glow. Oh put some respect on here. Okay, put some respect on her name. All I need is a fan right now, and I'm Beyonce, okay? I know. Feeling myself too damn much. But, you guys, this look is so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Like, this is a vibe. Do I have a fan? No, I don't. Shit. I wish I had a fan. Hold on. Let's do this. Oh, no, it's not moving. Man, where's the fan when you need a fan, okay? But, okay, you guys, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to leave me a comment down in the comment section below. And let me know what you guys want me to film next because, listen, sis. I need your help. I could be struggling sometimes, okay? Let me know what you guys want to see next, okay? I am, I'll be more than happy to film it. And happy holidays to you all. I'm going to have more holidays look coming up for you guys. I'm probably going to do like a drugstore version, like a holiday drugstore version. Just let me know what you guys want to see before the holidays, okay? And I'll be more than happy to film it for you. If it's a haul, if it's like a get ready with me, full on glam. I'm thinking about doing that too, which is like um, clothing, fragrance, makeup, hair, like everything. Let me know what you guys want to see, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm definitely feeling myself. This is a whole vibe. Like, share this video with your family, your friends, and your loved ones. Until I come your way next time, you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. And I love you all for watching. Mwah.